Welcome back, my people, to Critics News on another edition. On another already know how we take the do. I'm sad. We take see the matter soon, and so we take the talk. Um. <laughs> so let's go straight to the reason why we are here. In case you have not followed us on the social media handles, we are on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. So um, endeavor to follow us on all these social media. Even on TikTok, we are there now. Okay. So um, what we have here is that um, the Nigerian Air Force has been attacked by the bandit who kidnapped the major general okay they, they, are, they have been attacked by dangerous bandit those people i say wow so which means that you went for a fight and the people you went to meet um we retaliated which means that this is where we are right that means that the location is now clear to everybody that um, they are somewhere and the government and everybody has uh, uh, has known now let's see they say exclusive bandits shoot at military aircraft searching for major abducted from nigeria defense academy this is a very big shame to a country field that is to tell you that nigeria is a failed state the only place these people have strength to kill is in Igbo land like i continue to say is because of um the kind of um hand the kind of treatment that we have given to this situation we have given it so much loose situation we have we are open the police is going everywhere razaking no proper planning no proper planning to secure a zone a no-go zone that is why we are they can do us anyhow Emma saying yeah we are complaining we are complaining she they say they attacked the esn camp and they killed some guys be it true or not whether truth or lie something wrong is going on in Igbo land and there is only one way to stop this there is only one way to stop this nonsense there is only one one particular way to stop it only one way but we are losing all those opportunities that's why the 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 I mean, uh, the, uh, the verse, uh, the verse, but I'm not going to. They say troops of the Nigerian army <laughs> and military aircraft searching for Major Christopher Datong, abducted by bandits during an attack on the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna State, are reportedly having a tough time, um, top military sources told Sahara reporters. Sahara reporters learned that um, apart from the unfriendly weather, which makes the terrain difficult for the military intelligence, surveillance and re reconnaissance aircraft the bandits are reportedly to be um, firing at approaching military aircraft which means that that is where they are so what are they going to do so the aircraft couldn't bomb but if it is in Igbo land now nah, ha they are shooters that can shoot now nah, and bomb anybody they see of course there are several groups of bandits and no one is 100 percent sure which group is holding the major you cannot bomb them because you want to ensure you do not destroy the victim with the suspect the weather is also not helpful they shoot at military aircraft if you fly too low they shot at our aircraft including these ones conducting the search so these guys searching from the air are not able to search all day one of the sources said that means that they brought their um th their effort to nothing so they couldn't they cannot in a country cannot secure a, um, a kidnapped citizen from its own territory it's not as if they can go to kenya and kidnap somebody they can go to Benin republic their dss is so powerful to go to these places malami is a superman to go to all these places but in your own country in your own land in your own bush you cannot rescue a kidnapped major general <laughs> forget all these things that they are saying you know these things are plan work in case you don't you do not know it's a it's a plan work now they say when asked if the military was negotiating the payment of ransom another source said that is unconfirmed no bandit can approach the military for ransom that is the height of debt mm. no bandit can attack approach the military for, for ransom that is the height of debt so no they cannot approach the military but they approached the nigeria defense academy mumu mumu statement <laughs> they said we cannot think it not to talk of paying ransom he replied make i hear 
government will pay ransom because it is their customer it is their customer sarah reporters had on wednesday reported that the defense headquarters abuja was coordinating a search and rescue operation for major datong the defense headquarters in a release by major general benjamin sawyer the director of defense information and st uh, had stated let me use this opportunity to reiterate that the NDA authorities acting on the directive of the Chief of Defense Staff has constituted a board of inquiry to ascertain the remote and immediate causes of the breach of security with a view to sanction any personnel found culpable and prevent further uh, reoccurrence. Let me also assure that we shall continue to update the general public as events unfold as we all as we are all aware um, the search and rescue of the abducted officer is still on troops of the armed forces of nigeria will continue with the operations to ensure all those involved in the dastardly act are brought to justice <laughs> he had said so nobody they don't know when it is the government who is responsible for this very act you don't know by now <laughs> pity nigeria Mm -hmm. They said that Sarah reporters um, had earlier reported that the tongue is still alive, according to a family source. A family member of the um, officer had told Sarah reporters on Wednesday that, they, uh, that uh, contrary to reports, he had not been killed and he was still alive. He is still alive, I can confirm to you, the sources told Sarah reporters. The Nigeria Defense Academy, the military foremost training institution in the country, had confirmed that gunmen believed to be bandits invaded the facility, killed two officers, and abducted one other. The NDA spokesman, uh, Major Bashi Jajira, in a release, had noted that the Nigeria Army and Air Training Command, as well as other security agencies in Kaduna State, had commenced a pursuit of the unknown gunmen within the general area. <laughs> So, which means, if the family can confirm that the man is alive, which means that they have contacted the family, and at the end, you see that the family will pay the ransom, and they will free the man, then the Nigerian army will now take the glory and say, ah, <laughs> we've been able to rescue him. We shot and shot and shot, and the bandit left him and ran away. That is the next line of action that you are going to hear. When the family of this very major general must have paid the dues that they are demanding from the family because it is not the nigerian army that is telling us that the man is alive it is the family which means that the man knows that if they call the nigerian army they might refuse to pay the ransom thereby leaving him in more danger so they have contacted the family now and the family is willing to pay so when they pay it now you hear another story that the army or the government we can't say we never paid any ransom and they left him. They know the consequences and they left him. That is what you are going to hear next. I'm going to play you a video here where this one was saying that uh, uh, um, they commend the channel's television after inviting them. No be juju be that. The people you don't want them to, you don't want to do their jobs. You don't want them to carry out their duties. You are telling us that uh, you, are, you are commending channel's TV. Watch the body language of this one now. It's a pleasure that I'm here mm. to interact with you uh, personally. Mm. First and foremost, to congratulate Channel's Television mm. for what you are doing to the nation. Mm. Um, I've followed the Channel Television since when I was a lieutenant, when I used to be uh, a guard commander at the uh, uh, radio station at Obalindi, and equally to when I was a uh, guard commander at uh, Dodan Barracks. I, always enjoy your mm. uh, programs and even now i don't miss politics today i equally don't miss the uh, uh, the, the sunrise daily where people are on the hot spot and sometimes you listen to people who don't have uh, the way with that to discuss but they appear and uh, i like the way your uh, uh, staff take them on your medium is a very large medium. Your medium is a medium that people look up to, to watch and be informed. So we have to collaborate with you so that whatever information is being churned out uh, will be churned out correctly 
and within the context of national security and national interest. Uh, yes, it's a private organization. There's freedom of press. Um, so far, Channels is doing very well. And uh, we want to uh, further come to cement that um, relationship so that it can be strong. So the, the relationship with China is not strong now because they brought all your evil agenda outside. They have told that one to go and look for a way to quench. <laughs> Maybe they will be asking people, who do you want to invite for interview this time so that the truth in Nigeria can be buried and the cleansing, ethnic cleansing, we continue to go on. That is the reason why you saw that one there talking rubbish. Yeah, telling fools. Look at his body language. On a soccer machine, a galop. Bam, 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 bam. Want to deceive? You can deceive, woman. Let me know what you think about it. Abe, forget this one. This even, even if you go there again now, maybe they will shoot down. According to this one I had here, they say they um, break in full army bandit, shoot military aircraft, searching for abducted major. Maybe next time now, <laughs> una go, una go, go down for that place. I don't know. I once saw Igbo, Igbo people. <laughs> Kid, bring bomb. They couldn't bomb them. They couldn't bomb them. Imagine if uh, this thing happened, even if the full and bandit kidnapped the major in Igbo land. All you, our families would have been wiped out, especially in Imo state. My own state now. They would have wiped everybody in Imo state. Say they are, they are looking. They, don't, they won't even mind the general. But because it is their people, their customers, they have to <laughs> do as if they are doing something. I pity the general being kidnapped. Where well, the family will also pay ransom, and <laughs> that is where it will end. And the man will come out, and the military will come and claim uh, that they are intelligent. No single intelligence in that military. 